Start an application in Automator to scale images down. Then go to Photos, and then Scale Images, and drag it in. Make sure you click Add to add the Automator Action Copy Finder items. Now we'll want to save it. We'll give it a name. Scale Images Down. Here I've got an image. I'll drag it right onto the icon I saved. And here's my copy. Now we can look at the resolution and we can see that it instantly resized our image. Next up, we'll rotate images left. Create that application, go to Photos, and Rotate Images. And we'll add the action to add the Copy Finder items. We'll select a folder where we want it. And we'll name this Automator application. Rotate Images Left. Let's save it. Here I've got a few images. Let's drag them on and they'll rotate left. And there you go. To change the format of an image, create an application, go to Photos, Change Types of Images, and add the action to Copy Finder Items. Now let's change our image type to JPEG. And we'll replace the existing files. We will select a folder. In this case, I've called my folder Convert Images. We'll select our images and drag it onto the saved application. Now we look in that folder, and there we go. Our images are now JPEGs. To crop images in bulk, do the same workflow, but just select Crop Images, and then choose a parameter. We'll do Scale to Height. Save your application, drag the images onto the icon just like before, and they'll scale. Third-party apps like Pixelmator Pro offer plugins. You just create an application, go to Photos, and we'll increase the resolution. We'll add this parameter to Copy Finder items. This will allow us to actually make a better looking picture using machine learning. We'll save it, and we'll call it Increase Resolution. Drag a picture over, and let's compare these pictures side by side. We'll zoom into our original right here. Take a close look, and it looks way rougher on the left than on the right. The machine learning increased the resolution of the image without making the file any larger.